Hello, and welcome to another Action Arms review. Today, this is Action Arms 2. We had, uh, you know, 1, 2, 3, and then we had the bigger boxes that was EX 1 and 2. Uh, as you see here, we have um, come out of Bravo, uh, Gaim Ichigo Arms, we got uh, Lemon Energy, and we have the uh, Triumphant Arms or Kachidoki Arms, or is this the Kachidoki Arms? Uh, I think it is. Um, <laughs> can I make some noise? No, oh yeah, Kiwami arms for the orange one, and then Kachidoki arms when he powers up to get uh, this uh, white silver look with him. So as you see, uh, this is the third energy one, and uh, technically uh, there should be a energy one for the black sort of soldier one. I forgot the name of them. You know these these guys, uh, and there also should be uh, energy for because uh, Baron uh, Lemon he uses Lemon energy, and of course. Um, Peach energy, and uh, there will be a uh, what's the one the, the knuckles will also have an energy version, uh, but uh, so so you sort of uh, in a weird way like if you sort of pick and mix and buy a few other figures you sort of mix and match and get the uh, energy stuff out. Um, I mean, in order to do that, I mean, we already have more than one Baron. We have the Baron Banana Arms and Baron Mango Arms. So we already have two Barons, so it's kind of like you got to buy one more of these and then swap the energy thing and put it on Baron's body and also this one. Because this one does come with sticker logo for the Baron logo and not uh, his logo, so you can sort of do that. But uh, anyway, uh, all Hong Kong candy toys don't have candy in them anymore. So uh, anyway, here's the top of the box. Oh. Uh, the information side and the box, like warnings and such. And on the other side, you got, uh, you know, the difference is the color of the actual box underneath at the bottom. The four, only, only four we get this set. Um, the last one we had like five, but I guess that's because, uh, yeah, the plastic is very similar. Um, not too keen on the uh, constant number change. And uh, you can reseal these boxes, this little flip there. And then you got all this stuff. Uh, a few of these boxes, because there's no candy in them anymore, they have like a white tape just sort of covering the uh, Best Before Date because there's no point having Best Before Date anymore. And so instead of uh, they also put a sticker here saying, you know, the normal uh, Chinese sticker with the warning and such, you know, small parts for kids. But uh, it also says no candy in there. And uh, notice that all of these uh, have a hidden. A lot of the information, so I'll tear one of these off and show you. So, uh, these tapes are almost impossible to, uh, the stick is impossible to remove without damaging. The box itself isn't damaged, I just can't get the residue off. See here, the triumphant bronze doesn't have anything, it just says uh, uh, 14 movable parts entirely, and the, all the other ones say 13 because I guess he's got like, this little flap there, so that moves. But with these other ones, you advertise the uh, other. Uh, arms in the uh, in the series, you got the uh, you know the Durian and the Ichigo one, and this one will have lemon energy and Durian because this one has Durian, and now the lemon energy and Ichigo arms right there. So uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, all of these uh, everything inside comes in a little bag, and the bag cuts up everything again in the box like this. So you got these different compartments. Uh, for example, this one's the lemon energy one, so you got. One compartment for the figure, one compartment for the arms, one compartment for the sticker, and one compartment for another part of the arms. It just varies, and you can all they all open quite easily when you peel open. Except the Ichigo arms one, for some reason that wouldn't tear open. So uh, in a way, you can easily reuse these bags. Like when you're done with the figure, just to get everything back inside, and that's all fine and dandy. And that inside the box is instructions, so you can. Uh, Actually, there's a dotted line somewhere on this box. Uh, there should be one. Yep, there's a dotted line here, so you can easily tear open this box and uh, see the instructions inside. But uh, we don't need those instructions because we're adults. We know what we're doing. Like, uh, it's good to have instructions though. Like, if the, the child hasn't particularly seen that arms, then uh, they wouldn't know how to arm change and stuff. And uh, these things can get quite um, finicky sometimes. You know, so you got these stickers, you got uh, triumphant stickers, all printed on a metallic sheet, which is probably a bad idea for me to have that light on. So I'll just do that. 
Uh, this is the Julian Arms one. Uh, lemon Energy. You can see in the corner, bottom left, right there, you got the Baron's logo and uh, his logo. And finally, uh, Ichigo Arms. So, uh, that means we have quite a lot of uh, uh, Gaim base bodies. We have uh, Ichigo Arms Gaim, uh, Bujin Gaim, uh, normal orange Gaim, so that, that's three different Gaims. We've got two Barons, uh, Banana and uh, Mango, and uh, all the other ones we only have uh, one so far. So let's start with uh, Lemon Energy. Zoom out a little bit. Focus. There we go. So here we have a uh, Lemon Energy guy, I can't remember the actual rider name. Uh, his legs are the same, his legs and bodies and top arms are the same as uh, Baron's body, just different mold because he has the uh, Genesis driver instead of uh, the other one. Uh, so you can pretty much get this figure and repaint the entire body silver and red, so you have Baron, you really want to do the Lemon Energy thing going on. Uh, different modes being the head. Which so, is pretty good, and uh, the extra armor thing that's uh, hooked on to his uh, lower arms is the back. Those you don't know, uh, this all these little little figures uses the same plastic that they use for model kits, or a plastic is very similar. So uh, these are really good for painting, and I have painted uh, these in the past. So you can check out those videos as well, and I'll do the same with this one. I will paint this, and you'll be able to check that out too. Hmm. Kind of painted a bit weird. It's got so far all the way around his arms. Also, I'll have to check online see if that's uh, accurate or whatever. But uh, anyway, uh, the lemon, 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 lemon. Where did it go? Oh yes, right here on the board. So here's the lemon energy. Uh, it looks pretty good. Otherwise, this is designed that uh, the helmet goes in there to fill up the space. But uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, just like all the other energy arms in this series, you got. Um, only one bit that's painted. And the silver's okay, very plasticky of course. So uh, you want to transform, you pull the capes off and the back cape off as well. And that shoulder piece of course. Uh, chest piece and a helmet. So uh, you're left with, it uh, doesn't even have a base, it's just like a little empty skeleton. Which, uh, if you don't mark this as lemon energy, you're going to have a bit of a hassle trying to recognize all the different arm things. Um, so. That's where the instructions come handy. Like, if you have too many of these, you're going to get mixed up. So, I'll uh, stick all the pieces on. Uh, this is supposed to go on this side, I think. Yep. Uh, the thickness between uh, both sides are different, so you won't mix up. Uh, you can't mix up uh, where the shoulder pad things go. So, you can't even uh, mix, the, mix the capes up. No, no, you can't different size pegs for the capes as well. Okay, so he's been armed. And uh, yeah, he looks uh, pretty good, I think, uh, for you know, a cheap toy. Uh, yeah, articulation. Uh, you got a rotating spot here, up and down. So no sideways anything, but you can kind of simulate it. Uh, arms go up. There's a full rotation here, elbow joint, and a rotation here on the lower arm. No hip movement, but you do have legs go up. It is a ball peg, so a slight rotation. Uh, knee joint, which uh, does stop. And uh, the foot is also on the ball, but uh, has this little gap there so you can uh, move his legs in a little bit. So, I pose, oops. Yeah, none of these are glued down, so you can sort of mix and match all the different body parts. So, essentially quite a lot of fun. He also comes with the uh, the energy arrow thing. You uh, can hold it a lot better than uh, Cherry Energy Guy, what's his name, I can't remember. Because uh, his sort of cherry armor was really in the way, which made it really hard for... Um, 
for him to do shooting poses, but uh, he can do a lot better. And because um, uh, the, all the joints are really tight, you can do quite neat stuff with different all the different cape with the cape. You know, he poses them in really neat ways. So he's like going through the air or something, and that's really cool. Because he does have a butt plug right there, so you can uh, if you have. If you did purchase one of the EX sets, you will have a little stage that you can use. <clears throat> and for comparison, here's the software of vinyl uh, Lemon Energy, which is the thing. I'm actually going to use this as a uh, Baron logo because I have his logo on this one. And I'm going to cut these up, use the heads for Lego minifigures, and you know. Uh, so, yeah, the color is very different. Um, I like this soft blue, but I like this blue better as for one of these figures. Very neat. Uh, Genesis driver is way smaller on this. And uh, the gold paint is identical. And the silver paint is pretty good. Uh, this one's way sharper than that one. Um, because molding detail on these soft vinyls are way better. It's just, you know, these are more these are more toys and these are more, well, these statues. Because he's got that cape issue that's stuck to his arms, which is hilarious. Also quite chubby compared to that one. He's really skinny. <laughs> but anyway, there he is. Stand there. Uh, who's? I'm gonna bet that the Peach Energy will come with EX3. Who's? And they'll have like another vehicle or something. Who? Who's? Who's? Who thinks that's gonna happen? Okay, next we go with Gome again. Uh, we've seen this figure a million times. Uh, the paint is just slightly different on the head. It's silver. Um, it's kind of annoying, like some of the other ones they did paint that there, but I might as well print. They didn't print the pattern of Blue Jean Guy, it's just red. But here, I really think they could have just print that easy pattern. Comes with the Musou Saber, of course. Nothing too special with him. Uh, but uh, an important bit is the Ichigo arms, which looks like this without any paint or stickers. And uh, so this is uh, the second Rider arms in this series. You got uh, Wizard arms, it's the first one. So, uh, I mean, this looks pretty good. I mean, it's, it's each, you know, it looks like Ichigo. Uh, and just like the wizard arms, you don't actually use all the pieces. So, uh, take his uh, face off, and not only the top of his face, you don't even need his jaws. Which is kind of cool in a weird way, because in the original Ichigo, uh, this mouthpiece is separate. So, that that's cool. Uh, you stick on this Ichigo head, which is exactly an Ichigo head. Uh, you stick this piece upside down, I believe. Let me just, yep. And then. You, you're going to have to pull these two sides off for the shoulders. Have I done that right? Yep. And then uh, you want to remove this piece and hoping whole thing does fall apart a bit. Uh, this space is actually the same as the wizard base. I've just realized. Uh, just like difference being the face is actually hidden in the back so you can uh, just for storage peg this back on here just take this face stick it on and you have a ridiculous looking game uh, very ridiculous indeed because uh, his, his shoulder pads are way way big so uh, you know I'll put them in trying to put them in the air right a kick pose as much as I can There we go. Kind of rider kicking. Uh, it this yeah, this looks ridiculous, just like the wizard arms one. Uh, so you might think, oh god. But uh, we get the uh, soft vinyl figure, and you see it looks way way better. For one thing, the eyes are painted. Uh, the back isn't painted though, um, but the proportions are way better on uh, this one. So uh, and because I'm using these heads for like. Like I said, you know, custom Lego figures. Um, I'll chop this up and uh, use these bits on there so it like looks way better. Also, the face proportions are so different. Torso proportions are just very, very different. Hmm. Right. You stand there, Ichigo Gaim. Uh, next we have Bravo. There he is. 
Uh, note a big issue with him, he does not have spikes on his legs and they are just done in detail on the stickers, like if you get the stickers they have the spike details on them and uh, that's not cool because if I get the uh, soft vinyl one and compare him, uh, he actually has the spikes on his legs so I'm probably going to use this, cut, cut the body bits up and you know put them on him so he has a spike thing going on. I mean his helmet is spiked but the rest of him is the same his entire body is exactly the same as a Baron's body, which is um, you know money saving and stuff. He does have uh, the two spiky swords, which are indeed spiky, thank God, and uh, the uh, Julian arms. You just imagine he's uh, he's done the arms thing. It's like, ooh, ooh. look, he's got like two eyes and such. <laughs> um, I just realized uh, the, why the Jurian, Bravo is a Jurian as his main food and he's a transvestite because I just realized, I don't even know why I didn't realize this before because uh, in Thailand, Thailand is famous for ladyboys and all that and uh, Thailand is also famous for uh, Jurians, uh, a lot of uh, Jurians you get in Hong Kong are from Thailand so I was like oh my god that's the connection, that's why he's a Jurian now and that's why he's a transvestite, I didn't realize that for some reason. By the way, uh, his armor is uh, the shoulder pads are different from the other ones because it's actually made out of two pieces, and that one is not kind of annoying. It's also good in a way where it doesn't like for the most part. All these other ones, well, not this one. Most of them tend to have a little hole in them. Um, none of them here do, but uh, this one kind of covers the holes on the plastic, so you don't really notice it. So it makes it more seamless, and that's good. And this is really tight. Back armor piece, Julian chest, is that upside down? No, it's not. Mm. Because this is all hard plastic, uh, the sharp bits do get a bit prickly. Um, so I do, do be careful when playing with this figure. Come on, hold and Hold. So there you go. Uh, I can just do one of his uh, poses. Oh, that doesn't fit too well. There we go. No, it's not what he does. It's sort of like there we go. And here he is, you can see, uh, again, the armor is way smaller on this guy. And chest, chest armor is also, again, bigger. So you can go different, different proportions. I do like the paint on this one a lot more, the green. I mean, it's the same metallic green, but just just feels different here. And of course, uh, his helmet actually has the bushes molded in, and he doesn't. Which is really annoying. You... Stand over there looking all proud and stuff. You there you go. I don't even have the uh, Kachidoki arms. Uh, here we go. Um, so in the, in the packet, he comes with the cape and the chest piece off. But everything's attached on it. He does not have a arms skeleton per se, because uh, well, he's he's more of a this is like. Uh, bottom part of his body. Um, he doesn't actually have arms on top of him. He does come with his Moosel Saber that's permanently attached you know, it's a single piece weapon with the uh, DJ gun. So that's kind of cool. With the um, Kiwami arms you have, the Moosel Saber and the gun. He can't actually hold this in gun mode. So that's kind of annoying. But uh, it, it's, so, you ha so if you have the Kiwami arms and this one, you can put them together and sort of have a you know, use a different piece depending. So it's good that you have sort of a gun one and a one that's combined with the sword. So here's my Kiwami arms all fully painted and stuff. You can check out all my other videos for the fully painted stuff. Um, compare him in a sec. I'll compare him first, this guy. So of course, um, all the food in his chest, chest is molded in and such. And a face helmet and all that's painted, everything in front. Um, Metallic silver on this is actually pretty good. It, it doesn't look too plasticky compared to, uh, say, the silver on uh, on those guys. So that, that's good. 
But again, it's the same differences, just different proportions and such. And of course, you know, these things aren't articulated. But... And uh, he doesn't actually have a cape, and he does. It's a kind of a crappy cape, but uh, it's a cape nonetheless. And you still do some poses and stuff, because it's quite articulated. It's got this swivel, and it's got this. So, so uh, just to go through it, he ca you can do the arms change stuff with him. But, uh, you know, be mindful that after you take this guy's armor off, there's, there's no skeleton for you to uh, put in, to put to put on. So, they just sort of lie around in scattered pieces. And uh, this bit is quite hard to open. So, so there he is underneath. Uh, upper arms are the same mold, and that's it really. The entire thing is a new mold. Uh, the body has molded patterns in, uh, lower arms have different patterns and everything, so uh, this, this is the, like the expensive, the highest budget one out of this lot. So what I'm going to do is, just for funsies, I'm going to take the Kiwami arms, all of it, and apply it to uh, Kachidoki arms. Because that's how he transforms into this mold, you know, his arm... Um, Kiwami arm sort of explodes from his body to reveal the other arms underneath. Let's see, let's get this. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, there we go. Right, so. And hopefully it'll fit, even though he has this little bit on the front. It's kind of weird, his entire body is just one single silver color, makes him look like a statue or some kind of a ghost. These things are known to be fiddly. Well, at least that fits. Uh, helmet thing underneath. Chest piece. Shoulder pad. Back piece. Other shoulder pad. And uh, there you go. He's now uh, prehension form. And yeah, it's weird. Like, he just looks like he's. Uh, if you don't apply any stickers or paint and stuff, this is totally just like. Here's a bland statue holding up your armor. So I'll give him that. But uh, also another thing I've realized is uh, by releasing uh, Bravo as well. Uh, We've gained access to every weapon that he can use. You know, the, the orange blade, uh, got the mango, the strawberry, and you know, all those different weapons that he can access are now released. So there you go. It yeah, looks pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so there, there he is. So I'm going to transform him uh, back into uh, Kachitoki arms. Because of the way his head is shaped, uh, a lot of the back helmets will look weird because his head's way taller. I did try uh, Julian arms on him and actually looks okay because uh, it has that Roman, you know, the hair thing that goes up so it actually uh, fills up the rest of the head. But uh, most of the arms will look weird on him because uh, just, just for the helmet part because uh, it's sort of missing a lot of uh, this big empty gap on the back of his uh, head. And that's the same with the uh, arms changer toy line. You know, the one that's the same scale as uh, <clears throat> as uh, uh, such figures because uh, he can, while he can do the arms change, it'll just again look odd because he's missing a huge gap on top of his, of his head. So, uh, is this a uh, good? Uh, Action arms. Uh, I think it is uh, a lot of variety. Uh, you have Gaim's ultimate. Well, ultimate so far. You never know these things. You can always be like Forze and come up with another ultimate version. Or O's who had Puto Terra and Tajodo, and then suddenly he had Super Tatoba at the end with the uh, movie Mega Max and all that. So who knows what Gaim will have with his movie with uh, Camera the Drive? I believe the next ride is going to be called. Uh, but for now, we have his ultimate form, and uh, that looks kind of neat. Uh, for once, I don't, I'm not going to paint his body. Like uh, this is one of the figures that I don't need to paint his bottom, his base body, because it actually looks good enough. Uh, a lot of other riders in this uh, figure in the series have uh, repainted the base color 
just so it will look better and less plasticky, but he doesn't. Uh, the other ones, uh, Bravo looks okay with green, I think. Uh, the Gaim and uh, Lemon Energy guys, uh, those two will need a base paint on their body, but the rest doesn't. Um, so yeah, this is over a good release. Uh, kind of sucks that there's only four of them and not five. Uh, but uh, let's see if they will keep releasing all these and hopefully we can uh, actually complete all the different rider arms and such. And I'm curious, curious uh, if they will do a Yuki arms because that's a uh, gamberizing uh, appearance of uh, Yuki arms. Hmm. So yeah, that's uh, arms change. Action Arms 4. Good release, very fun. Subscribe, suggest, and comment below. And of course, take care and have a nice day. Bye.